All right, women's 5,000. We are on to which day? Women's five, Sunday. We're on a Sunday now. Ooh, women's 5,000. I think it's my turn to say the favorite. It is Krisha Schweizer. She won the 10,000. She just ran four flat in a 1,500. When she ran that 10,000, she beat Alicia Monson. And that victory just increased in value because Alicia Monson went to Europe and ran 1431. So that is a really good win to have. It is Christian Schweizer who is the favorite to double up. Yes, I agree. Christian Schweizer is the favorite. It would have been Elise Cranny, but we are kind of in the dark with her. So because of that, you have to go with the known, and the known is Schweizer. We saw her win the 10K. We saw her run four flat. Mm -hmm. we, uh, she's, she's the overall favorite. Now, before, all right, let's talk sleepers, but let me, uh, can I go first in sleeper? Hold on. First, Cole, go down to the 5K on this one just so folks can see the, uh, who has the standard. Yeah, that 5K right there with Monson, Cranny, Frerix, who's not running. Norris, I think she's going to put more in on the 15. And if she makes a 15, she would scratch. So you have a, a lot of people who aren't actually going to be running that race. But yeah, go ahead. Sleeper, I'm going with someone who does not have the standard. I'm going with Caitlin Tui. She doesn't have the standard, but I think, um, I think it's going to be a fast-paced race. I think she could probably get it in the final. I also think she is currently in the world ranking quota. So she may not 100% need to get the standard. She could maybe find a way to get in without it. The odds of Caitlin Tui getting third in this, in this race are pretty hard and rare. So I don't think she's a sleeper to make the team, but I do think she's a sleeper in general. I mean, coming off an NCAA title, she's coming into form. She's run 406, I believe, in a 1500, which, yep. you know, it's fast. against some of these other women that's in that same range. I mean... Not four flat range, but it's it's close there. She's not running four ten. She's running four oh six. Um, so yeah, I think Caitlin Tui is my sleeper. I th still think she's a year away. Mm -hmm. I think she is more prone to be able to make the team in twenty twenty three. But similar to you know, sometimes these college kids they need to get their their feet wet in the first championship. Um, is this her first USA's? It has to be um, right. Was she at the trials last year? I don't remember. Probably not. I don't, yeah, she probably wasn't. So, yeah. Anyway, Caitlin Tui, my sleeper. It's funny to consider her a sleeper. Little known athlete from the state <laughs> of New York her? named Caitlin Tui. Yeah. Well, she's been, she ran really well in that 15. And remember, she front ran that thing. I, saw, I was thinking about her for the 15. That would obviously be very tough just because she doesn't have standard. But that's one where... If a couple of things break the right way and the race goes the right way, make some good tactical decisions she could factor in. But my sleeper shouldn't really be a sleeper. She's made teams before, but Enfeld. Because I think people will be pulling for her after just missing the 10,000 meter team. So I went with her. She looked pretty good you know, coming back from, from injuries. But my top three, you ready for my top three? Because I did some research because I'm like, what's Cranny been up to? Apparently, she paced at the Portland Track Festival. And then there was video of her running on Instagram. So I was like, all right, it's enough for me. That's, I just need to see that, right? We know how much you post on Instagram sometimes reflects what kind of shape you're in. And she had at least one post. So I'm going Schweizer. I'm going Schweizer and Cranny. And then for my third pick, continuing my tradition of always picking this person to make every team that they contest until they actually do. Wayne Kalati. I'm just going to keep picking Wayne Kalati. It's got to happen. Eventually, it's got to land on, you know, yeah. double zero in the roulette table. Eventually. Yeah. I like the, I like the Wayne Kalati eventual pick. Like, it's a good investment because you're going to be right soon. It, it, you thought it was last year, but then the, the heat in the 10K kind of screwed everything yeah. up. And it was a, she just turned American like 24 hours beforehand. Um, I like the Kalati pick. The cranny investigation. So can you give me a little, you just, how much did she pace? Like, uh, how much of the, I think 
didn't she pace people can help okay someone in the chat says the 15 and the 5k she paced both okay and then wow. in the video on instagram she was running a rep with krisha Schweizer. okay so that made me feel good because then i'm thinking well was that just for an instagram video if so that'd be very clever but i thought no they they were actually running a rep don't know how long the rep was but if you're anywhere near Christian Swizer right now, I feel good about your fitness. I don't know, man. It just seems so weird for her to pull out that 10K the way she did. Just like mm -hmm. with the reason being I'm not feeling myself. You only get so many, like, I'm just hesitant to like believe in 10 second clips and pacing efforts to be like, all right, you're ready to go. But at the so same time, pick? she is so much better than mm. everyone else. So it's like, what's more important to me? Like if she was a well, contender, yeah, not be if she was like in the contender status as opposed to like dominant status, yeah, it might look differently. So this one I struggled over. I also struggled over whether or not Saint Pierre is going to be in the race. She is entered as a no time. I think she, mm -hmm. like, I have Saint Pierre and Cranny in my top three, but neither of them could show up. Right, Cranny could. DNF and yep. St. Pierre could DNS. Yeah. So right. I'm going with Schweizer for the win. I'm going with your 1500 meter athlete. I think she doesn't make it in the 15. It does, I think she comes back and makes it in the five. I'm going with Josette Norris to get second. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to either be Cranny or Kaladi. Screw it. I'm going Kaladi. I think I'm not, Cranny. I'm willing to be wrong in the whole Cranny thing. If Cranny's healthy and fine, it's going to be Cranny. I'll put that as a little asterisk, but I don't like guessing. So I'm just going to go Schweizer, Norris, Kaladi. That's my, that's my.